Africa faces many challenges and one of them is high unemployment. Small-scale enterprises or micro-entrepreneurs are a curbing factor to this predicament if trained, supported and funded adequately. They also contribute to poverty alleviation and economic growth. The City Micro-Entrepreneurship Awards Program seeks to raise awareness of microfinance, particularly among micro-entrepreneurs who could benefit from it. For more than a decade, the City Micro-Entrepreneurship Awards Program has been a signature financial inclusion initiative of the City Foundation focused on generating economic opportunities for low-income people, including youth, around the globe. In particular, the program seeks to generate recognition for the extraordinary contribution that individual micro-entrepreneurs have made to the economic sustainability of their families as well as their communities in nearly 30 countries. The Women's Entrepreneurial Access Center, WIAC, are the implementing partners of the program in Zambia since November 2017. Microfinance institutions in the participating countries are broadly encouraged to nominate their clients who have exhibited excellence in areas such as loan repayment, business growth, employment growth, and impact on the community for their local city micro-entrepreneurship awards program. Riding on the success of the first ever City Micro-Entrepreneurship Awards held in Zambia in November 2018, the 2020 event was held at Fallsway in Nusaka on the 25th of September. The occasion was graced by Mr. Wilson Chola, the city board chair, who was the guest of honor, Mrs. Lowani Chivesakunda, the Citibank Zambia managing director. The WIAC team, representatives of the panel of judges, microfinance institutions personnel, the nominees, and other invited guests. Due to COVID-19, Measures had to be put in place that follow the stipulated regulations for public gatherings. Phyllis Mbainkazi, the Director of Programs, kickstarted the event and called upon Mr. Patrick Shatamuka, Head Operations, WIAC, to give the CMA overview. The opening remarks were made by WIAC's Executive Director, Mrs. Nambula Kachumi who alluded to the challenges the awards program faced in this COVID-19 period and how this has served as a lesson for a change of mindset being required in the sustainable financing of micro-entrepreneurs. So the COVID-19 has hit us hard and its adverse effects, um, its negative impact uh, will continue to be felt from various levels of our social, health and economic fronts. We have seen the micro and small businesses experience a larger decline in business activity. And in times like these, we tend to reflect and focus on how important it is to sustain efforts in building social and economic resilience through better finance and smart investment at community and enterprise levels. So the City Microentrepreneurship Awards 2020 present a unique opportunity tackling some of the major setbacks that micro-entrepreneurs continue to face, which, we have been worse, that which have been worsened by the COVID-19. So through this program um, and working with key partners uh, who are present here, in, especially in the microfinance industry, we are not only able to rethink and reimagine the future of micro-entrepreneurship, that are taking the necessary action to ensure that the kind of support that micro and small businesses need in these critical times are matched with smart, sustainable financing, coupled with non-financial assistance and focused on building essential skills for navigating the crisis. And this is why I think in the second round of CMA, we've found it very critical to work with, um, to use a multi-sector uh, sectoral approach uh, working with different institutions, not only within the finance you know, industry, but also identifying some of the key areas of support that make it possible for us you know, to continue providing support and empowering you know, communities, uh, creating awareness around um, some of the barriers you know, that exist 
in um, taking the private sector forward. Mrs. Lowani Chibesakunda, the Citibank Zambia Managing Director, spoke on the positive results the partnership with WIAC has produced, noted the increase of participation by microfinance institutes and applauded the work the panel of judges is carrying out to make the awards a success. At City, we have been committed to the continued development of the African continent since 1920. And through the City Foundation, we have the opportunity to carry out programs that generate economic progress in the region through high impact regional and local initiatives with a focus on young adults and women. It therefore gives us great pride to be associated with WIAC as their partner for this program. As part of our ongoing commitment to the field of microfinance, we are proud of our partnership to implement the City Micro Entrepreneurship Awards Program to highlight the achievements of some of the most innovative and well-performing micro entrepreneurs in Zambia, supported by the City Foundation. I am therefore very glad to note that this year the awards have attracted participation of 14 microfinance institutions with over 50 entries having been received. The judging panel, and I applaud you all who won the judging panel, was able to review nominations from outstanding individuals across the country who deserve this recognition. We thank you very much for this commitment. Through the City Micro Entrepreneurship Awards, we continue to put the spotlight on the men and women who have found sustainable solutions to alleviate poverty, not only for themselves, but for their families and the community members as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the micro entrepreneurship industry is being recognized as a major contributor of the economic growth in the country through job creation, service and industry in various economic sectors. Indeed, micro entrepreneurship is highly recognized as the most appropriate driver for poverty alleviation globally. As the event headed towards the award presentation, Walia Pakati, the best youngest entrepreneur winner from 2018, was given the platform to shed light on her journey and growth after scooping the prestigious award. My journey with WIAC began when I was selected as one of the nominees in 2018 uh, by KCC, which is an MFI. Uh, I got some money from them. I got a loan from them. And uh, since then, um, I've maintained a very good relationship with KCC. And... Um, I'm growing with WIAC from 2018 till now. I've undergone uh, rigorous um, entrepreneurship training programs, uh, which um, one of them includes uh, the FEM BioBees, which was um, sometime last year. And this year, something great happened. I really don't want to go into a lot of details, but um, WIAC has been very instrumental in the growth and development of our brand, Tawani Beauty Products. Briefly about our brand, um, I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Tawani Beauty Products, which is a cosmetic brand currently formulating soaps and creams um, for women. Uh, these are brightening products for women who want to access brightening products with therapeutic benefits. So that's briefly about us. Mrs. Nkanza, a representative of the CMA Judges Panel and City Micro Entrepreneurship Award Advisory Council representative, was at hand to elaborate the judging criteria and the process to select the nominees and deserving winners. The population that we looked at uh, this year was uh, nominations from 14 MFIs. This was a total of 46. 46 uh, contestants. Um, you note that uh, this is a reduction from last year when we had, when from the same number of MFIs, we had 57 uh, number of uh, participants. 
um, part of the reason is the, 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 the criteria is becoming more stringent because um, our participants are becoming more and more, um, what can I say, and they are stronger. So we've had to also strengthen our criteria to make sure that uh, we get only the best. And you will see that uh, from the winners that these are uh, 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 entrepreneurs that are uh, poised for growth. Um, from the 46, uh, as judges, we were able to interact with 25, 25 of the uh, contestants that, that were selected. And I must say that uh, this year's uh, criteria was quite broad. Uh, we looked at um, things like scalability, uh, the growth uh, potential, economic and social impact. As you, were, you have heard from the previous speakers, there were, many of these words were being used like impact, um, community um, participation and so on. This is what we want uh, these entrepreneurs to be able to achieve because they work in the communities and if they can provide stable employment, they can provide uh, businesses that are growing and they're able to give employment, they're able to grow their businesses for the benefit of the community, then uh, I think the, um, the results are much better than just being focused on, on profits. Uh, interestingly, for this year, we had uh, a category. We have a category for technological innovation and social impact, which we didn't have last year. And the reason is uh, obvious. One, uh, increasingly our, our environment is being driven by technology, but more especially this year, COVID-19 happened, and we all know what that means. Uh, most of the institutions are having to rely on technology to um, interface with their clients in, 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 in uh, the way that they offer their services to their clients, whether it's the social media, whether it's um, uh, Facebook and, and, uh, and, and, and other such mechanisms. But technology, we notice that it's, it's taking center ground. After chatting with the various, with the 25 entrepreneurs, we came up uh, with five and uh, the selection of these five was by, uh, you know, scoring. So coincidentally, uh, the judges' uh, scores uh, were able to show that we, we were all of the same mind of who is deserving. So I can tell you that there was no, not too much um, discussion or doubt as to who is the deserving uh, winners uh, this year. The highly anticipated part of the function commenced with the presentation of certificates and awards to CMA Zambia 2020 nominees and finalists. Five winners from different categories were Anod Nyendwa, who scooped the Resilient Young Entrepreneur Award from Ventura's Jumpstart. Akatoka Likulunga walked away with the Agriculture and Environmental Sustainability Award from Element Cashew Limited. The Tech Innovation and Social Impact Award went to Chabu Muchinshi of SC Star Technology. Mercy Chisi of Element Cashew Limited got the Best Female Micro Entrepreneur Award. These winners walked away with 30,000 kwacha each. Micro Entrepreneur of the Year, who walked away with a staggering 50,000 kwacha, was Sarah Nguenya from Kalomo Grain Marketing. The microfinance institutions play a major role in the financial inclusion of the micro entrepreneurs. The financing of their initiatives and business ideas catapults them to achieve their goals and transform not only their lives, but their communities. The best loan officer of the year was George Lungu from ICAS. 
The Best MFI of the Year Award went to Madison Finance. The guest of honor, Mr. Wilson Chola, Citibank Zambia board chair, gave his speech and concluding remarks. He gave his appreciation to all those involved in the CMA program, pointing out the success of the Citibank and WIAC partnership for the ceremony. He also gave remarks on the significance of financial inclusion. I would like to thank you know, the organizers for this award ceremony, Citibank Zambia and We Create Zambia for providing an opportunity um, a platform to celebrate extraordinary entrepreneurs in Zambia. I take this opportunity to appreciate you know, all the award nominees, participants uh, of this event. You are all winners as the efforts you individually and collectively you know, make in providing services in your fellow citizens are uh, hallmarks of the outstanding service. I commend Citibank for the concept of the CMA Awards implementing this program in Zambia. The objective of this award are not worth not just celebrating innovative contribution of micro entrepreneur in Zambia, but also showcase the effective role that microfinance plays in supporting poverty elevation, social empowerment, and economic development within the broader context of financial inclusion. Financial inclusion continues to be, um, or to play a critical role in the global development agenda given that over half of the world adult population does not have access to the basic financial services and is essential for developing strong financial institutions, reducing poverty, and financing broader economic development. As the microfinance in our sector in Zambia continues to grow and empower more micro entrepreneurs across the country, it is the success stories behind the numbers that prove that the power of access to finance to transform and improve their lives. It is a pleasure to see tangible proof that collective public and private sector efforts have a powerful impact on the Zambian household and MSME like we witnessed you know, today. The 2020 CMA Awards are a true indicator that micro entrepreneurs are not only resilient but committed if given the platform to enable them to operate. These men and women are not only inspiring but giving hope to the small and medium enterprises sector. Their responsible use of funding is encouraging to initiatives such as the City Micro Entrepreneurship Award Program. The contestants, organizers, and microfinance institutes had this to say about the program and how it is essential in the micro entrepreneur ecosystem. The program has been amazing because uh, it exposes um, entrepreneurs, including uh, different businesses, both women, both genders, women and male, and also it helps to network. From the time I joined, uh, joined uh, the We Are network uh, my business has never been the same because I've learned so much uh, I've learned uh, about entrepreneurship uh, skills that I didn't know I've undertaken a program uh, for academic for women entrepreneurs that was sponsored by American Embers it, it was a very good program for me it has helped me uh, and the business to grow my business is not the same anymore the way I look at issues finance and also the marketing and also the operations, everything has changed for good. Uh, I can say uh, any, any woman, any lady who is aspiring to be an entrepreneur, to get connected to uh, WIAC because uh, whatever they are going to learn is going to add value to their business. We have learned a lot, especially in the entrepreneurship programs and also mentorship and also business modeling because we went through pro uh, programs where we were uh, advised, coached, trained, and also physically having workshops and also mentoring and giving us advice on how to best run our our enterprises and uh, also to validate the market, which is a very big pro uh, point in entrepreneurship. It has been a wonderful uh, uh, program, so to say. We've worked uh, very well with the nominees. And um, to tell you the truth, 
they have been uh, uh, very good and uh, they are so experienced. Their products are good and they are selling on the market. And I'm very glad for them also that uh, they have, uh, a few have actually scooped uh, the, the, the awards, so to say. We are very proud to be a partner of WIAC and we look forward to the ongoing partnership and to seeing other uh, micro-entrepreneurs in this market developing, growing and even coming into this industry. Micro-entrepreneurship is important for the Zambian economy because it's all part of financial inclusion agenda and we're very proud that this is an initiative that has grown year on year ever since it was initiated in Zambia. We thank you and we continue to hope for great progress in the future. Uh, we've seen a lot of creativity and resilience amongst these entrepreneurs. Their creativity has enabled them to surpass these setbacks that they have faced. But we're also happy that uh, you know Africa is a, it's a, it's a market full of potential with so many resources. And when we see efforts intentionally being applied from different stakeholders, such big global initiatives like the City Micro Entrepreneurship Award, we get encouraged because we know that uh, this is a sector-wide approach and uh, that you know, there is more that can be done in terms of supporting entrepreneurship and improving access to work. It is a very good initiative. I think we need to put it out there on the market. We need to make sure that people know about you know, we, you know, um, WEAC so that they can come and also be able to become part you know, of the team. I believe with the initiatives that people have you know, today, what the ideas that have come up, a lot of other people will be able to learn from this. I'm sure from here you can go you know, further in terms of you know, trying to you know, ensure that people, their ideas are actually sustainable, they're able to grow, and we can also help, I'll also get involved, I was just talking to the uh, executive director, that we can also look at the financial services deeply. They are doing something similar, they can be able to help in you know, financing some of these activities. I was very happy you know, with a lot of you know, people who are actually involved you know, in this. I'm, I'm proud you know, to be part of you know, this as a city bank you know, a board chair, and I'll also try to help with the other organizations that can get involved in this to make sure that this is a success.